hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have c plus one whole square is equals to nine uh, and we solve this problem for all the values of c so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution of this equation and which of the roots are extraneous root also at the end i can explain the term extraneous root and solution so please watch this video at the end uh, so further we solve this problem for two methods i hope so uh, you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now we move towards our first method and in the first method here we need to move this 9 to the left hand side and it will be written as c plus one whole square this is positive 9 when we move it into the left hand side it will become minus 9 and further we rewrite uh, this equation as in this form this is c plus one whole square minus this is our nine we write it as three square is equals to zero so here further uh, we solve this problem with the help of algebraic formula you know about that if we have a square minus b square equals to a minus b times of a plus b according to this algebraic formula you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b and now we apply here the below formula so according to this formula we write our above equation as our first factor is a minus b and the value of a is c plus 1 minus the value of b is 3 and again we have a plus b the value of a is c plus 1 and the value of b is 3 and this whole equation is equals to zero and further in the next step uh, we need a little bit simplifications here and it will be written as this is c into 1 minus 3 becomes minus 2 and here we have c plus 1 plus 3 becomes 4 and this is equals to zero and now we divide uh, this equation into the two cases the first case is we write c minus 2 is equals to zero and the second case is we write c plus 4 is equals to 0. So from the first case we easily get the value of c is equals to 2. This is the, our first root of the given equation. And from here we get the value of c is equals to minus 4. This is the, our second root of the given equation. So uh, in the first method we get here uh, two roots of the given equation. And, and now here further in the next step we move towards our second method and we get uh, here I can just suggest you another method to find the roots of the above equation I hope so you like both of these methods okay so in second method we need to copy down given question statement here it is c plus one whole square is equals to nine so in second method uh, we solve this problem with the help of a square root uh, so here we can apply the square root on both of the sides so after applying square root it will be written as c plus one whole square and its whole square root is equals to nine and its whole square root so this two and this square root are gone and we get here c plus one is equals to this is uh, square root of nine uh, and square root of 9 becomes 3 uh, and also you know about that when we apply square root on both of the sides then you can write here plus minus sign any one of the sides so that here I can just write the plus minus sign on the right hand side and now here in the next step we break this equation and here first we write the positive value here it is c plus 1 equals to 3 and here we write the negative value it is c plus 1 equals to minus 3 and here we need uh, more simplifications and now we move this plus 1 to the right hand side and it will become c is equals to 3 minus 1 and from here we get c is equals to minus 3 minus 1 so that uh, from first case you easily get the value of c is equals to 3 minus 1 becomes here 2 and uh, from here we get the value of c is equals to minus 4 so you see here from both of these methods we will get here the same values or same roots of the given equation uh, and now here in the next steps we need to verify uh, that is both or any one of the roots are solution or any one of the roots are extraneous root 
Uh, so for the verification of the roots uh, we need to copy down given question statement here it is c plus one whole square is equals to nine this is the our given question statement and in this side we will be verify c is equals to two and in this side we will be verify c is equals to minus four so uh, here uh, first we uh, focus on c is equals to 2 and we uh, substitute c is equals to 2 into the left hand side of the given question statement after substituting this it will be written as 2 plus 1 whole square is equals to 9 from here we get a minus 4 plus 1 is equals to 9 this is square okay so uh, here first we need to focus on this term and we have 2 plus 1 becomes 3 it will becomes 3 square equals to 9 and 3 square becomes 9 is equals to 9. This shows that the value of c is equals to 2 is satisfied over given question statement. So this is our first solution and from here you see that minus 4 plus 1 becomes minus 3 square is equals to 9 and minus 3 square becomes 9 is equals to 9. So this shows that the value of c is equals to minus 4 is also satisfied our given question statement. So this is the also solution of the given equation and finally we have the solution set of the given question is minus 4 and 2. So this is the our given uh, solution set and now here I can explain the term extraneous root or solution. Uh, so the roots which does not satisfy our given question statement is called the uh, extraneous root of the given equation and the roots which is satisfied our given question statement is called the solution of that equation. So here this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.